This video addresses the inspection and repair of the Watts 757 and 757 DCDA backflow prevention assemblies, sizes 2.5 through 6 inch. Before beginning any work, please familiarize yourself with these procedures to avoid harming yourself or damaging the valve. A copy of these instructions as well as specification sheets, repair kit ordering information, and additional product resources can be found online at watts.com. To inspect your backflow assembly, you'll need a number three Phillips head screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and an FDA approved lubricant. Six inch assemblies require an additional one half 13 by five fully threaded hex bolt and a socket wrench. To begin your inspection, shut down the water supply by slowly closing both the outlet and inlet shutoff valves. Relieve any air or water pressure trapped within the system by slowly opening the number two, number three, and number four test cocks. Before opening the unit, clean off any dirt or debris that may have collected on the valve body during its life. Once clean, unthread the number three test cock. Insert a number three Phillips head screwdriver through the hole on top of the valve sleeve. Using the screwdriver as a handle, Carefully rotate the sleeve left to right to break the O-ring seal. Gently pull the cover back. Remove the stainless steel check retainer plate. Locate the two slots found atop each check and carefully insert a flat blade screwdriver between the check and the valve body. Gently slide the module towards the open zone. Pull the check free and remove it from the assembly. The number one check should be removed first, followed by the number two. To open and inspect the checks found in the 2.5, 3, and 4 inch assemblies, begin by placing a number 3 Phillips head screwdriver through the service notches found on either side of the check and the hole in the cam arm to pick up the check tension. Carefully remove the E-clip using a flat blade screwdriver and remove the pin. The check clapper will open with no tension. With the E-clip and pin disconnected, never remove the screwdriver. Doing so could seriously harm yourself or damage the check. Begin your inspection by cleaning the check with water to remove any dirt or debris. Once clean, thoroughly dry the unit before proceeding with the inspection. Oftentimes, damage or deeply embedded debris may be invisible to the naked eye and can only be detected by close examination and touch. Closely inspect all parts of the check, including the check body, the check clapper and sealing surface, and the O-ring and O-ring groove. For closer examination of the rubber sealing disc, the keeper plate can be unscrewed and the sealing disc carefully removed with a flat blade screwdriver. If one side of the disc happens to be cut or torn, the disc can be reversed and reinstalled in lieu of ordering a replacement. If both sides are damaged, it should be replaced. Inspect the O-ring. If it's damaged in any way, it should be replaced. Once all check components have been inspected and replaced as needed, reconnect the structural members with the pin and the E-clip. Carefully remove the screwdriver and prepare the check for reinstallation by lubricating the O-ring with an FDA-approved lubricant. The procedure to open the checks found in the 6-inch assemblies varies slightly from that of the smaller sizes. To open the checks, thread a 1 half 13 by 5 hex bolt through the service hole located on the bottom of the check until it makes contact with the linkage. Continue threading the bolt until the hole on the cam aligns with the service notches on either side of the check and place a number three Phillips head screwdriver through the hole in the cam. Slowly unthread the service bolt to transfer the tension to the screwdriver. 
Remove the E-clip and pin and inspect the check in accordance with the previous procedure. To reassemble the 6-inch checks, first re-thread the service bolt, replace the E-clip and pin, and remove the screwdriver. Unthread the service bolt and prepare the unit for reinstallation. When rebuilding the assembly, the number 2 check should be replaced first, followed by the number 1. If either check cannot be reinstalled by hand, place a small piece of 2x4 against the check body and gently apply pressure to slide it into place. Thorough lubrication of the O-rings with an FDA-approved lubricant will help during the reinstallation. With the checks replaced, reinstall the stainless steel retainer plate and slowly close the cover sleeve, once again using a number 3 Phillips head screwdriver as a handle. Finish rebuilding the assembly by reinstalling the number 3 test cock hand tight. To restart the system, slowly open the inlet shutoff valve, close the number 2, number 3, and number 4 test cocks, and open the outlet. For more information on local startup and testing procedures, consult your local municipality or manufacturer's representative.